So hello and welcome back to RS Thinks. Today I'm at the new grid sub facility in Norwich. I was here a couple of days ago for the grand opening, but something went wrong with my camera. So I'm back here to film again. Um, it's not a problem though, because I've got a different car this time. I've got an Audi Q4 that I've got for the weekend that I'll be doing a review of soon. So please subscribe to the channel if you're interested in that one. Um, when I came originally, I was in Skoda Enyaq, uh, also video in the works of that one with a review too. So again, please subscribe if you're interested in that. So what we've got at GridServe Norwich here, we've got 22 350 kilowatt chargers. There are six 22 kilowatt AC chargers. There are eight Tesla chargers that can do up to 250 kilowatts. We've got a mix of CCS and CHAdeMO. There are six CHAdeMO connections here, the rest being CCS. So if you've got a leaf, then you are going to be catered for, which is quite cool. Um, we'll just take a walk down here and have a look at the Tesla chargers first because it's not quite bright and sunny down there. So when I came the other day, we did get a tour and they were saying that although these chargers at the moment are doing 250 kilowatts, they will be capable of doing 300 with a software update and they believe that that was going to be coming soon. So if you do have a Tesla, you'll be able to charge at a faster speed soon. Very nice looking Polestar here in the sun, in the, in the black here. I believe they do test drives from certain grid sub locations, so this, this could be one of them. Um, one thing I noticed when I was here the other day as well is that over here, we've actually got an air and water machine, which is quite good. So you can top up your washer bottle or you can um, check the pressure on your tires, which is good. And it's actually free too which um, I think is a really cool idea. So just walking backwards because of the wind, um, if we look at the charging bays here, this side is all CCS on here. And the cost to charge here is actually 45p, which isn't the cheapest, but it's not the most expensive. So that's, that's quite good. Um, every bay is numbered, as you can see here, and it actually shows you which connector it's it's got on there too so you can see the ccs connectors on this side and when we go to the other side you'll be able to see that those ones are chadamo so you see walking through apologies for the wind here it's, it's a very windy location so if we walk around this side we can see another polestar here another polestar 2 this time in white. And if you walk through here, we've got actually a disabled bay. So this is one of two disabled bays. Um, now all the charges underneath this main building here are flat, I meaning there's no curbs at all around here. So if you're a wheelchair user, uh, you're not gonna struggle with curbs, you're not gonna struggle with plugging in, anything like that. So it's really cool to see. The bays are slightly wider than normal as well. So. Um, if you do have a wheelchair, you're not going to struggle to get things out of here. So that's a pretty good addition to the electric forecourt here. Now you notice the shape of the building. It's quite long. And what you've got is you've got a Costa, m and Food and a WH Smiths up inside. And at either end, you've got stairs and a lift so you can get up um, into the top part there. Uh, the top part is pretty much the same uh, layout as Braintree in as much as you've got meaty rooms that you can hire and you've got an area uh, for seating, eating your food, whatever it is. Uh, but you've got a nice view looking out over the, the road to the left here. So yeah, it's, it's a pretty good location. As I say, I, I was here the other day for the, for the opening day and there was, there was lots of people here. Um, lots of people are interested in these facilities just because these are gonna be the next, the next big thing. Um, and this is the second one so so yeah so thank you for watching please like share subscribe and if you're interested in the Enyaq and the Q4 then please see the videos that will be coming soon uh, that's still the edit phase at the moment but they will be coming out quickly and I'll also be going to fully charge next weekend too so hopefully get some content from them as well so see you later bye